Hello YouTube, Toon Fabricator here once again with part 2 of the piston video. In this part I am going to be developing the parts that I've already drawn in part 1 using different functions from the ribbon, the 3D ribbon above. I'm going to dive straight in with it. Okay, so this is the top view as you can see. We've got all our parts of the piston drawn out. Now we are going to develop these parts. I'm just going to move this to the side a little bit just to give myself a little bit of space. Okay. So, as I may have already said, I'm going to be using the rotate button. So, I'll select this item, go to this drop down menu, and I'll be pressing revolve. I'll use this as the center axis, and I'll type in 360 and that has revolved I'll go into a different view may not look like much but if I go into the realistic view there you can see there is the piston what I'm going to do, just to make it a little bit easier for myself, you don't have to, I'm going to take the drawing grid off by left clicking on drawing grid. If you don't have that down there, if you've got an earlier version of AutoCAD, all you have to type in is grid, and across the bottom it will give you, type it in for you, grid on and off. You can just switch that on and off that way. Okay, so back on this, I'm going to do the same with this item here. I'm going to use the revolve function. Go in the top view there. Revolve. And we'll go type in 360 and enter that. As you can see, it's coming along nicely. This is going to be the whole for the piston. The part of the piston that actually goes through the piston pin. Now what I'm going to do is use extrude. So I've selected. It doesn't really matter how long you extrude this. Let's see. I don't know. 50. Because we need to ensure that this goes right away through that. I'm going to do the same for this item here. Extrude. Again it doesn't particularly matter how long that is. Because we're going to be using that shortly for the solid subtract to develop skirt of the piston. So I'm going to change my views in a 2D wireframe. It's much easier to use. At this point, I've got to see you've got to make sure that you've got all your object snaps on, your 3D object snaps. Now I'm going to select this, I'm going to move it. I'm going to use that as my second snap point and just see how it centers on there. I'll show you again. You've got to come in from that side. So we'll see, for example, if I came in from that side, it gives a center point from up there. I don't want to use that center point. I want to use this bottom center point. So when I go over that circuit, it gives us a center point there. I'm going to move it from there and I want to move it to the inside of the piston. Again, all you have to do, I'll show you how not to do it, by going over there, and it gives a center point at the top of the piston. There you go, the little cross appears there. That's not what I want to use. I want to use the center point of that circle on the bottom. And there you go, the little X appears, or the little cross. And there you go. Now what I'm going to do, is go back into see a conceptual doesn't really matter I'm going to use this function here the solid subtract I want to get that shape taken out of the piston so left click on there sorry I just changed back to 2d wireframe left click on solid subtract now I want to keep the piston outside shape so I left click on that left click then I right click it 
This is a part that I want to get rid of, so I will left click and right click, and that should have gotten rid of it. Go to conceptual, and there you have it. Really simple. Really simple. Okay, so I'll go back to 2D wireframe. I'm going to select this. And I want to move it. What I'll do. Is create myself a center point. By using the line function. I'll select it again. And if I've got my object snap settings. All on. The center of the line I've just created should snap into place. And there you have it. That's a center point. So I need that to be put into the bottom of my piston. Okay. So I'll go back in the 2D wireframe. I'll select that item. I'll select move. So I'll be center point of that line. Try that again. It's a bit better. Go back to two D wireframe. Get the center point. And there you have it. Now what I want to do is use the same function I used before, solid subtract, and go to select that item, right click, I'll select that item, right click, and there you have it. I'll just get rid of that line. And it's starting to take shape. Now what I'm going to do is get myself back in a 2D wireframe and make sure that is parallel. Now I'm going to move this into the piston to create my hole. I'll select it, select the center point. And let's just see it. We'll have it there. We'll go into conceptual. And what we'll do is, because it didn't go right the way through, we'll just move that down a little bit. Like so. What I did there was, I just left clicked on this arrow. And moved it down. So again we're going to be using this function. Solid subtract. Left click on the piston. Because we want to keep that. Right click. We'll left click on this object. Because we want to get rid of that. And there you have it. Have it. It's not perfect. But again this is just off the top of my head. I'm now going to add a few little bits and pieces. Just to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I'm going to select the third function. I'm going to go to radius. I'll give it a 0.5 radius. Left click on that edge. Right click. And enter. So that gives it. A nice little fillet on the edge. You can do the same with the bottoms if you so wish. Why not? I'll go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to select all of these edges. I 
that looks like all of them are selected by using left click so I'm going to hit enter and there you have it again you can do the same with this if you wish but I'm not going to go into that I think I'll give it a little bit context now so what I'm going to do is type in plan for plan serve I'll give it a surface underneath it that's great I'm going to raise my piston up a little bit so I'll set the piston I'll set that plane and just raise it up a little bit go up on a top view I'll give myself a camera I'll type in camera maybe put that in there Go back into the home view and let's see what we look like by setting camera we can move the view around if we want there you go and now type in all mat and the material browser will come up it's a little bit slow now let's have a look we'll select the piston we'll right click Arduino on that material there we're going to realistic view there you go let's give it the polished aluminium We'll go to the plan surf, we'll give that a little bit of colour as well. Let's have a look. We'll give it a completely contrasting colour to make it stand out. Let's have a look, we'll go to plastic maybe. And high gloss red. And there you go. What we'll do is we'll maybe go to visualise. We'll give it some shadows. Sun status. And there you go. So what we now do is we go to the render button, and this is a great function. It's just in case you need some sort of hard copy, you can maybe pass it on to your boss or something that type of thing. And let's have a look. So what we need to do is. We'll go to custom model views this will give you the camera look or the camera view again we'll change that in a realistic it's a little bit better and again we'll give it a render so there you go there's your piston from start to finish really straightforward not that difficult I mean that was just off the top of my head I didn't have a drone in front of us it's not perfect if you had a drone obviously it would be much better but just to give you a rough idea of how you can draw things such as persons so anyway I think that's enough for me if you've got any questions or anything you would actually like us to draw and develop no matter how advanced it is just give me a Leave a quick comment down below. If you've got any comments to make, just leave them down below again. Hit like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for regular uploads on a weekly basis. So, that's Tune Fabricate out. Thank you.